Hey, hey, what's up? So, got a question put to me. I thought you guys would find it interesting. So somebody says, Steph, I have a question. With my brief description of my abilities, what salary do you think I can apply for? So he says he knows React Basics, Context, React Query, Tailwind, Material UI. He knows Node, Express Mongo, Mongoose, excuse me. SQL, MySQL, Figma, Photoshop, Python automation of processes, basics of data science, Python, Django, Flask. Can I go for 60K, he says. So first of all, in terms of the array of skills, there's plenty of skills. You can get a job if you're good enough with just one of those lines. If you, knew, if you know just Node and Express and Mongos, that's enough to get a job. But a couple things. A, how good are you at using these technologies? What level coder are you? So I don't know. The email I put to this guy, I said, hey, what uh, nice list you have there. But it's broad, but how deep is it? How deep are your skills? Deeper is better uh, than broad. So you got to be able to have a, a good set of skills in that regard. Um, you got to have a depth of, of, of ability, rather, in that regard. How about salary? Again, Depends. Depends on uh, what level. Are you coming in as a Mongo, uh, Node.js, Express, Mongoose a developer, uh, entry level, uh, intermediate? I guess we're going to say, since you're new, it would be entry level. Is 60K enough? Depends on your market. Some markets, that would be very low. and other markets, that could be very high. What I mean by market, I mean if you live in a small town in the middle of nowhere, Perhaps the salaries will be lower, but as, as, at the same time, the cost of housing and living will be far lower. So if you're in San Francisco, you know, a tiny shack will cost you a million bucks, but a million bucks in, I don't know, some small town in Ohio uh, will probably buy you a mansion. I'm just guessing here, but, you know, you get the idea. So in terms of how much you can ask for, it depends on two things. A, what kind of experience can you show with your skill set? How deep are your skills? And uh, where you happen to live. So how do you develop good skill sets in terms of practical experience without having a job or without having had a job yet? It's kind of a catch-22. Well, it isn't because the tactic is to go out there and do two to three small projects for free in whatever technology, it doesn't matter, and get your hands dirty with code. You got to get your hands dirty with code. I actually put out a tweet, I think it was today or yesterday, describing that whole process. So there you go. I hope that answers that question. Uh, if you're trying to get into the coding game, the most important aspect is to show real practical work, not so much certifications, uh, not so much what courses you did, or what skills you dabbled in, but what you can actually show that you've done production code in, even basic stuff. And then from there, once you get your foot in the door, meaning your very first entry level job, then the learning really begins. So you want to get into the workforce as quickly as possible, writing some sort of code. And it almost doesn't matter what it is, because in that first six months to a year is where you really develop your, your skills and as, so, as such, your salary will rise up accordingly. I hope that helps. Bye-bye.